A very exciting addition to Lightroom 4 Beta is geotagging. We've now got an entire new module, it's the Maps module. So as you probably know, if you're shooting with your mobile phone or a GPS enabled camera, you've got all this GPS information now. Well, guess what? We can go through, we can sort the metadata, and we can tie it to a map. It's very exciting and it's a real fun feature. So let's have a look at that. When you open up Lightroom 4 Beta, one of the first things that's probably you're going to notice is that there's a couple of new modules at the top here. One of them is the Map module and one is the Develop module. Before I actually get into that though, let me just right click and show you that we have the ability to hide and show these different uh, modules now. And we can just click Show All, so just to kind of clear up the clutter a little bit. So as we look, let's have a look here, we're looking at this map right now. And this is fed by Google Maps, so you have to have an internet connection in order to use this module. Now there's a lot of things we can do here. One of the things we can do is I've created some save locations, so I can click say United States and I click there, and it'll take me into the United States. Now as I do this, notice that you see these little tags here. These little tags are telling me that I have photographs in these locations. So we can uh, go through these and it'll take a second for them to load. There's different photographs shot in those locations. So if we go here, you can see there we are. So what we can do is if we want to double click on these, it's going to take us in closer. And notice it starts to uh, break these apart. Or we can just scroll with our mouse wheel. And as we scroll in and it gets closer, we can start to see that these were shot in different locations. Now what this is, is it's geotagging is added to the photographs. Now these photos were taken with an iPhone, so it has GPS data in there, which is global positioning. Uh, some cameras have that now, some consumer cameras and some uh, SLRs. If you don't have that in your camera, you can use a handheld device or just use your, um, your, your, your uh, mobile phone with you to get the GPS data. Uh, so as you can see, when we have the GPS data in the photographs, they're automatically added to the map here. And so I can actually see them. And if I click on these locations, I can zoom in and click and we can actually go through them. And we can see that these photographs were taken here in this area here. Um, one of the things we can do too, let me just go back out. If you want to zoom in into a specific location, we can zoom using these buttons here or the slider. But it's a little bit better, I find, just to uh, hold down the Alt key, that would be the option, and then just make a little marquee, and that will actually draw the selection over the area you selected. So we can see we've got these photographs all shot in, in a similar location. These are different parts of the convention center here. I was actually at a conference, so that's why these are kind of spread out a little bit. So you can see these are not exactly exciting photographs, but, uh, you know, they're, they're very useful. Or, for example, I was over here, and I shot some different things. Here's a convention center. And notice as I select it, it chooses them from the film strip underneath. So we can move up at uh, different places here. And if we want to click here, you can see here's our office building. Well, obviously that's not the office building, but they were shot <laughs> around that location. So there we go, 11th Street, and there we are on 11th. So you can see it's pretty accurate. One of the things that happens too is as we select these, it selects them also in the film strip too. We can see there's two selected. So it's a great way of finding our photographs. Let me, uh, for example, type a different place. Let's do Hawaii. And now we've moved into Hawaii, and notice we've got some photographs here that were shot when I was in Hawaii, and it's showing the location. I'm just going to option drag here, and I'm going to show you how good this is. If we zoom right in, and notice I can do that with the scroll wheel, or I can do it with the slider there. In this case, I'm doing it with the scroll wheel. You can see that the photographs I took here, and notice as you click on them, it shows you was shot right here and it's showing the actual location even following the road. Now some interesting things too, you can view it different ways. We can look at a road map. We can choose a road map with some terrain on it. We can just do just the satellite map or other options. I, I like to use the hybrid map. I find that the most useful. And so we can zoom back out again. So what I've done actually is I just made a quick collection here for all the uh, GPS enabled photographs because that's actually been added to the filter. So if you actually look under the um, 
the filter and we're obviously going to have to move over to the develop module the library module to do that if we go there and the filter bar can be open and closed by hitting the backslash key and under metadata there's a new one now we've got all the photographs that I've selected here we can add GPS location so under this here we can choose the GPS data or location as metadata so we can actually go through and find out which photographs have already got it and which ones don't now you will notice something too if you look at these see this little tag here this is a new uh, badge and this is the GPS one so if I click that notice it takes me directly to the photograph on the map so it's a really really great way of finding the actual locations it's a lot of fun but what if say for example we have some uh, photographs that don't have uh, lo location data and we want to add them so um, maybe we've got a couple of photographs here let's have a look here we've got these ones without keywords we've got tons of them there okay here we go we've got some pictures here of, of the moon and uh, let's let's go there here to the library panel here we'll see we can see this, these different photographs so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for one of these and I'm gonna go to the map module so here they are I know where this was shot this was actually shot in Irvine and this will go to Irvine California and then I can just take this if I wanted and I could just go here and I could drop that wherever I wanted just to show uh, you know the location and I can move that just by clicking and dragging because I know it was actually shot in that location right there and I could look at that and at any point I could just zoom in and you know etc etc uh, one of the things we can do too in here is we can actually save different locations so for example if I want to go to the office I just click there and it'll take me to the office very quickly um, I want to look at the United States we can do that so say you want to find a different location for example I don't know let's do Alaska so we click there it searches it'll bring us in to Alaska and then we can save that as a location just click there and do Alaska and that'll be saved so it's kind of cool to do these locations and then uh, just use the GPS data to get around and look at our photographs I hope you enjoyed this little overview that I gave you of Lightroom 4 beta as time goes on I'm gonna add to the resources on this page here and uh, you'll see in the lower third down there I'll show you exactly where the page is and as we get closer to release time and Adobe releases the final version of Lightroom 4 don't forget, come back to Photoshop Cafe because we're going to have some great training available for you. We're going to do a comprehensive Lightroom video that's going to cover it start to finish everything you need to know about Lightroom 4. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook at PhotoshopCafe.com and also on Twitter at PhotoshopCafe.com. So I'll see you at the cafe.